Hey guys, Future Andrew here. And before this video starts, before we get into this repair, I just want to tell you guys that this video will be doing a giveaway. In this video, we're going to be giving away some super clean product. One winner in the video will get to win everything I've unboxed in the first one. So the five pack in the super clean video, which will be up here in the information screen or link down below. So all you got to do to enter is you got to be living in the lower 48 of the USA and just put a comment on. Don't even have to subscribe. But that'd be amazing if you did. So that's all you got to do to enter this giveaway. You'll win the floor absorbent. You'll win the regular degreaser, the foam degreaser, the aerosol degreaser, and the all wheel cleaner. All in one package, which Super Clean will be shipping out to you. So I will announce the winner on December 17th. So let's get back to past Andrew here and get right into this repair. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave that comment below so we can pick a winner December 17th. Have a great day, guys. Bye. All right, boys. Welcome back to my channel. Now, today's project is going to be just a little one today. I don't got too much work to do. We're working on this Honda generator. It is an EG 1400 watt generator. It looks pretty brand new for being as old as it is. But we got a bad gas tank and we got that muffler. Look how brand new that looks. This thing's pretty mint condition. Even um, when I was pre inspecting it, this is from that lot I bought. If you guys want to watch that video, link up there. And if you're new here, Got to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell for more repair videos. Yeah, look how clear that looks. That's fresh oil. So, no oil change. I'm thinking we just got to do the carburetor. And I noticed when I was trying to test it that this happens. So we're going to have to take off that recoil and oil it up a little bit. See if we can't bring that back to life. So let's start with the carburetor. Okay, to remove this air filter cover, we got a little wing nut down here. Make sure the fuel's on off, which is good. And it has no air filter. That's fine, we'll order one. Now let's see if we can't get in here and show you guys. Choke actuates, well that's good. Now, let's bust out our 10 millimeter. Finish taking this cover off. One nut. Oh, dropped one. Uh, dropped my nuts. There we go. Now we'll just hang that down to the low uh, throttle. Actuates. That's good. Okay, now we'll remove this fuel line. Oh. Let's see if fuel actually goes through. Yes, it does. Good, good, good. Okay. Now let's see here what we're working with. This linkage doesn't look right. Okay, let's figure out how to get this linkage out here. First of all, oh, Jesus, some of these are a pain in my ass. Someone's messed with this carburetor for because it's missing the plastic clip. Which I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. Normally has a plastic clip in there. But other than that, everything looks fine. So let's pop this carburetor open. You can see how just nasty that is. 
one. So this one's definitely going to go into cleaner. Look at that. Oh, God. Can't wait to see what's inside. What's going to be in there? Gross shit. That's what. Okay, guys. We got the patient on the operating table. First thing I want to say, it's been a long time since I've seen a carburetor that's not a 10 or a 13. This is actually a 12. And that is rare. Okay, there's that. Let's see if this bowl comes off. Oh, there we go. Let's take a look in there. Take a look at that. Well, look at this. Ready? Just rust. Okay. Mm, the pin is stuck and the needle stuck. Now, this is the part where we do not want to break anything. Because we want to do this as cheap as possible on this channel. So we take this little punch I got from Harbor Freight. I like it for the pins because it has a, not like a point, but a divot. Which we can put right on that pin. And you know what? We better hit it with a little bit of penetrating lube just so nothing breaks. Oh, wait, can you guys see that inside that? Um, that's pretty gross. And that's what we got the ultrasonic cleaner for. So, well, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see how I use my ultrasonic cleaner and what I use in it. Oh, look at that. It started just to go. Didn't even have to really put pressure on it. Bam, keeper. Let's see if we can't. Oh, boy. There we go. That came out, too. So, we're going to throw that needle in there. Look at that. Nasty. Just nasty. Ooh, that's nasty. Flathead. Bam. See, I have my tools in order. Oh, well, there we go. Thank God you didn't break. You know, I've broken two of these in my lifetime. Uh, I just said screw it and ordered new carburetors. Not a fun experience. Actually, to be honest, with as nasty as this carburetor is, everything's coming out fairly better than expected. Oh, well, even the emulsion tube popped on down. Let's see. No, we're getting some trouble from this carburetor here. So that's when you do this trick. Bam. Oh, still not getting that emulsion. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, since I can't get that out, I'm going to throw it in the cleaner with it, and I'll take my cleaning tool, and we can scrub out those holes, blow air in it, and all that good stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Phillips. I mean, our flathead. My bad. We could do, actually, you know what? As I said it, we'll use Phillips. On this idle screw... I never said I was the smartest small engine mechanic. But anyways, we'll take a Phillips. Now, flathead. On this plug right here for this idle jet. Honda's come a long way with their carburetors. See, just in there is a little brass piece. Don't know if we can see that. Probably not. But there we go. We got everything off. Slap it in this carburetor since it's like 30 degrees out here. It's still warming up. Look how crystal clear that Dawn dish soap is. All you do is just take some water. Just mm, squirt that stuff in there. That's good stuff. Pay me, Dawn. Okay. One. Look at that. Look how nasty that is. Look, it's like bulging out. Looks like a freaking pimple. Ugh. Put that in there. Uh, bolt. Uh, float. 
keeper needle. Well, those are good. And yep, that jet is plugged. You know what? I got an idea how to show you guys this. I don't know if this will work, but we're gonna find out. So see, you can't see. Once I clean it and pop a needle through it, we'll see if we can't see it like that. That'd be a good way to show you guys. There's everything in there nice and pretty. Mmm, so pretty. 30 minutes. Oh yeah. Look at it go. So beautiful. So peaceful. Okay guys, so I had to go one hour in the cleaner and look it's not nice and blue anymore but let's check it out let's see what we got working for us at this moment oh carburetor body mm, yeah okay Oh, look at that. Look how clean that is now. Look, no more bumps. Almost brand new inside. Float. And the rest of the gang. Pop that in there. Turn off the cleaner. Grab a towel for wiping. Let's see if I can't push the emulsion tube up and see if I can't force it down again. Let's see if we can't work a little penetrating lube in there. But anyways, look how clear that guys that came out, guys. Beautiful. Love this cleaner. So push up, pop down, push up, pop down. Yeah, that's not coming out, but. However, we'll move on to the air. Okay. That, that cleaned up nicely, so we're gonna test it and see if we can, oh look, you guys can already see through it. Let's see if my little light trick works to show you guys better. Oh yeah, look how, now you can see that. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. I think this carburetor came out beautifully. Let's see if we can't see this blowing at you guys. This shit clogging that. Look at that. I don't know what's in there. Um... my cleaner oh yeah I had to, really that well, was not good that blockage explained why it probably wasn't getting no gas in there Take the fuzzy part, put it in there, give it a good twist. By the way, get these cleaners at Harbor Freight, but it comes with that carburetor kit when you order the ones that um, clean the two strokes, that adjust the two strokes, I mean, it comes with this cleaner. So if you guys want to buy that, link's in the description. 
you can really use those. Okay, all the airways are nice and clean, which is what we want. Uh, you know what? Let's take this. Let's find the smallest threaded one right here. Give it a good wipe of the old stuff, and we're going to put it through that emulsion tube. Let's we'll see if we can't find one without the fuzzies. I know I cleared out the airway, but as you can see, it goes through in there. And another way to test is, I guess if we can see the light popping through, let's blow some more air in there. Yeah, it's blown through. Okay, so let's rebuild it. I'm going to put the main jet back in there. Screw it in there till it just seats nicely. Don't over tighten it. No point. You don't want to break that brass. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to take the needle and the float. Then pop that back in there. Put the float keeper back in. Okay, that's opening and closing. Good, good, good. Okay, now we're going to put the bowl back on. Nut. Gasket. And for some strange reason in this world, 12 millimeter. Now, idle area cap back on. Flathead. Idle screw. Phillips or flathead. back on the machine okay here we are at the machine we're gonna pop the carburetor back on here This damn throttle link it is bent to shoot. Oh. So right there it's going to run full open. But whatever, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to put the gasket back on. We'll actually check how it sounds once we get it back together. So now we're going to bust out our tin again. I actually thought this carburetor was going to be a lot worse. Ten right there. Ten right there. Okay. Well, let's put this wing nut back on. And let's work on that recoil now. I 
Oh, look, it sucked right back in. What the heck? Ooh, those are on there pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, ten millimeters. <clears throat> That's when you bust out this. Give it a little hand strength. Just so we can use the impact and not snap it. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm an impact kind of guy. I like things to go faster. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so let's see if we can't just oil this up a little bit here. We might have to change the rope and stuff, but we'll see. It's oiling up. It's getting smoother, so I guess that's a good thing. Let's see if we can't spray oil right in there. You don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but barely a little gap in there. That's becoming a lot better. So, we're going to let that soak with oil. We're just going to oil some stuff in here. Just to give it, you know, some oil. Okay, guys. We'll let that oil sit in that recoil for a bit. And when we come back, we'll slap that recoil back on and give her a test run. Okay, guys. So, we got the recoil here. Look at all that oil. Good. Now it's oiled up and ready to go. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. So, now very simply, we're going to put the recoil back on. We're going to hand start. Two of them. And then once we get that going, we can just hit it up. Tighten them up, and then the bottom one should automatically be lined up. That one didn't hand tight enough. There we go. And now the bottom boy. Done. Now let's give this bad boy a test. Shall we? Shall we? Let's go. We're looking at on mode. We're going to let the gas seep in there a little bit. I added some. Oh, we're dripping. Oh, I don't have it hooked up. Make sure there's more gas in there. Now 
Okay. Sorry, I didn't have the fuel line connected. Let's let some gas get in there. Uh, I didn't want to add too much gas. Okay. Now let's see. We will choke it. I think I'm going to have to add more gas. Hang on. Okie dokie, guys. So I added some more gas to it. And just in case we need it, I got a little boost of ether. Let's choke it. for my test light right now. A generator is not a generator unless we got power. I think we might be a little overflow on oil. Look at that. That's not normal. Okay, so let me double check this oil rating. Like I said, I thought it was clear. I didn't bother to check if it was overfull or not. But that's fine, we'll fix it. So I am. I am just draining the oil only because um, I thought it looked good, but this is what we're looking at. So it's been sitting for years and years and years. It's no good oil. So just draining it all and it was a lot. I mean, I filled up that whole cup and now I'm filling up my drain pan down here. So we're just going to replace it with some AMS oil 10W30 and make sure it's not overflowing again. Oh, for quick reference, this is the dipstick here. This is where it's supposed to be, where my finger ends. And it was up here, so it's way over full. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So, I put the correct amount of oil in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it. And we might get a little bit of blowback from before. And we just want to make sure it's still not blowing back, even with the correct amount of oil. So, engine on, choke on, fuel on.
Okay, guys. That worked out perfectly. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm getting this Honda running. It's been fun. We had a little bit of overfill, which was an oversight on my part. <laughs> That's fine, guys. We got her running. She's beautiful. She produces power. Everything's good. Everything's great. We got the recoil not sticking. So see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one.